Hey guys, and welcome to our review for Kingsman, The Golden Circle, the sequel to Tyler's favorite movie of all time. What? Arguably. Uh, Arguably. <laughs> directed by Matthew Vaughn, starring a plethora of actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. Taron Egerton, mm -hmm. Colin Firth, Mark <gasps> Strong, Channing Tatum, Pedro Pascal, Julianne Moore, Halle Berry, Elton John, Jeff Bridges... Among several others. Yep. Yep. Uh, my name is Scott Ellis. I'm joined here by Tim McGavick. Kingsman. Get Tim, hyped. did you did you I like this movie? I love the first one. Really? Yes. Oh, you know that. Love the first one. I didn't know that. Uh, also joining us is Tyler Switalski. Hey guys. He's not, not excited glad at to all. have you. No. He doesn't care about this movie. Tim, yeah. can you give us a synopsis of the Golden Circle? Oh, I'll do my best. I'll just wing it. Um, when the Kingsmen come under heavy casualties, they hop across the pond, as the Brits say, to Kentucky, where they meet their U.S. cousins, the Statesmen. Together, they set out to stop Poppy, a drug lord who has a devious plan to hold the world hostage. Well done, Tim. Yes. Well thank done. You. Well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ty, I think we should start with you. A lot of the time, whenever I'm about to have like a reviews. nervous breakdown about a movie, for some reason you guys always make me go last, and it yeah. kills me the entire yeah. time. This time, let's start with you. Thank you. Tell us, what do you think of Kingsman, The Golden Circle? I love this movie. I love this movie. All right. Now, I'm not just blindly loving this movie. There were things about it that I did not like. Okay. Not enough to make me not love it, though. Okay. So, there. I will say that. I'm not just crazy in love now, with it. Now, are you burdened by the fact that you loved the first one so much? I was scared or? of that. I was like, I'm like, am I going to be going into this disappointed? Like, just right off the back. So, like, I put the first one on such a pedestal. Yeah. It's high up there. It is. It is high up there. It's a five for me as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, to me, it's one of the greatest action spy movies of all time. And I'm a huge Bond fan, so that's saying something. Um... <laughs> This, Man. yeah, this, I was nervous going into it. Um, again, things, some things I didn't like about it, but I really did enjoy this movie uh, from beginning to end. There was some twists that I did not expect. Uh, a couple things that I did not fully understand at the beginning. Uh, there was some, like, I didn't fully get uh, a couple of parts. I why, why they did certain things. Uh, I can't really say anything without going into spoilers. But um, I did I did really enjoy this. I thought performances were pretty good. I thought Julianne Moore was going to be a little over the top. But now go, looking back, I actually really liked her. Um, like a total psychopath. Like, feel free to chime in. Agree, disagree with me. I'm just, I'm just going, letting you go. Just let me go. Just let me go. Just right? just letting just letting you go. go. Okay, I'm going with it. <laughs> um, I thought she was so, a little bit over the top, but then looking back, like I, I enjoyed it. She was, like she it painted well mm -hmm. for her character. Um Colin Firth, his character was different, I will say that, but I think they handled it really well. They, they bring he's, this character he's back. He's alive? He's in the trailer. So he, he might be. be. He's he in the trailer. Be. Come on. Okay. They brought this trailer, they, they, they brought him back into this, but in a very good way. Like, I thought it was, it was a very good way to bring the character back. Mm. Um, <laughs> Did you know? I did. <laughs> Uh, Turn out of that, eh? Turn out of was great. Um, you saw a lot more with Mark Strong this movie, and I, I liked that. I got I feel like you, you saw more of his character, um, and I really enjoyed that. Kind of dove in more, and it was cool. All right, you ha loved it. Ha have a have a way, boys. You loved it, Tim. What did you think of Kingsman: The Golden Circle? You also <sighs> loved the original. I love Kingsman: Secret Service. First one took me by surprise. I remember when I first Very saw a trailer, I was like, this looks like Spy Kid shit. Wow. And then when I saw it, I was like, this is a hard R spy action comedy, and I loved it. Mm, yeah, you, and? This one's fine. I am disappointed on many levels about it. I love how I didn't pause there, just <laughs> band aid. I just had to rip it right off. Right into it. Um, oh, God. I think, I think my problem is they did nothing new with this at all. They ramped up some stuff, and I think they ramped up the wrong things Okay. about the film. Um, I read a great review, a great uh, a review, and there's one thing that I think stuck out for me. 
is the casting of the statesman. The great thing about the first one is that you had like Colin Firth playing against type. He, he plays like very posh character the characters. He plays a yeah. action badass. Samuel L. Jackson plays like an off beat character as well. It's like he's going against their usual casting. Yeah. yeah. Channing Tatum, Jeff Bridges, Halle Berry play the exact characters you would expect them to play. Right. There's That's nothing fair. new about yeah, these characters. Yeah. Like it would have been nice to see a nice twist on them. Like they're casting just ex- play play exactly the character you think yeah. that they would like play. Like if Jeff Bridges was Channing Tatum's character, something different. Role, yeah, something. And if Halle Berry was yeah Jeff Bridges' Bridges role. Yeah, something you know if they if they switch it around, yeah, but not everyone just rotates. So I think Imagine Channing Tatum was Halle Berry's role. So I think role? like that. Right. Yeah. That would have been cool. Yeah. So I think the see? charm of the first movie where you get like you're like holy shit that's Colin Firth like beating guys up in a bar gets lost in this movie it was a little too on the nose Can't casting was very much on on, yeah. the, on the nose yeah. too too much for me and I think it de- de- detracted um, I like Pedro Pascal just because I like him as an actor in general great in Game of Thrones yeah. great in Narcos um, and then I think the other thing they ramped up too much was the CGI well CGI in general is yeah. quite bad in this um, and also the CGI <laughs> stitching of their fight scenes um to make it look like a one take yeah uh, the church scene is phenomenal in the first movie yes and then they, they did like mini versions of that they yeah. had like three or four mini versions and again I think they tried to capitalize on that because that's almost the one big action scene is that church scene the rest are just like little bits here little and bits there. here and there and, and this one you get like four or sequence. five very similar church type scenes and I don't think they work um, I thought the I last think... one worked though to me, at least, in the restaurant. No, just before that, when they when they go into yes, when they raid. Spoilers. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's a jungle the headquarters sequence. Yeah, that worked really well. I think that was very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just it just missed on a few things for me. I don't think the comedy was quite on point either with this one. Um, I don't think the satire of like the spy genre was quite on point. Okay. Um, yeah, it just doesn't doesn't didn't quite hit. I was disappointed on those things. Um, but there are also things I do like a lot about it. Colin Firth I thought was great as yeah. well. Um, Terry Nedrigan just kills it again in this role. Um, but yeah, overall, just now let me disappointing. Let me jump in. Yes, because you guys are forgetting to mention a certain someone who I thought was hilarious. Elton John. Elton John. Elton yes. John killed it. <laughs> yes, he was hilarious. <laughs> I thought. He was the funniest part. Yes. Yeah, he was by far the funniest part of the movie. Um, saying that, I thought that was the only funny parts. <laughs> I did not love this movie whatsoever. <laughs> See you, Ty. <laughs> See you, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I just... <laughs> Ty, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> um, I'm going to finish this. I don't know. It just didn't really do it for me. You know, everything that the first one did amazing mm-hmm. was just either not at that same level or just missed completely. Yeah. This is something that I thought of after on. I, like, if you look at what made the first one so charming was that it had... The star power wasn't, like... It was good. Like, the star power was, it was great on yeah, it. But there's no big box office pull but, but, on... Like, no one's going to see, like, Colin Firth in, like, huge amounts of... No, and, like, and that's the thing. Like, Sam L. Jackson, sure, yeah. But, like, what made the first one great was, like, how charming it was. Yeah, it's a great uh, story. Yeah. Uniquely shot. But then I feel like I feel like Matthew Vaughn might have gotten almost maybe intimidated or he lost confidence in this because... So this is his first sequel as well. Okay, so that might be part of the reason why you guys didn't like it as much. Yeah. But I feel like he just tried to get, like, big names and, and poor, like... like Elton John, Jeff Bridges, Halle Berry, Channing Tatum, like pour huge names, and Julianne Moore, pour huge names into this, and then hopefully that'll bring people back. That's kind of, I think he might have lost his nerve a little bit. For me, I think the problem is, I think the one of the main reasons why the first one was a success, in addition to what you guys just mentioned, mm-hmm. was that it was such a surprise. Yeah, yeah, I was shocked when I first saw it. And with this sequel... Nothing is surprising. No, nothing's new in this at all. Literally nothing. Yeah. And that, I mean, besides Elton John. Yes. Which he was a bit of a surprise yeah. for me. Yeah. Like, I knew he was in it, but 
Not to I what extent, thought, right? Like, and you know, he's not a thespian, let's say, but he's an icon, though. His scenes were pretty funny. Just yeah. you know, like, get out of my room, get the fuck. Like, I've never heard Elton John <laughs> swear. Like, I've never heard Elton John swear at all. It's funny. It's just funny. Yeah, but everything else in this film was a little bit predictable, a little bit been there, done that. And it just wasn't surprising and funny and as witty as I wanted it to be. No. Just like the first one was. Because yeah. I do really enjoy the first one. Um, even not to the extent of you guys, but I, you know, it's a heavy four. Yeah. Okay, so that's, yes. Good, yeah. yeah. So. Part of my thought, but yeah. This one, to me, is a is just a big letdown. Yeah. So, yeah. Shall, should we give our ratings? Anything else and we can get in into some spoilers because I'm sure we, there's a lot we can unpack. Yeah, I definitely yeah. want to discuss this a lot. We'll spoil it, Scott. Oh, man, I'm gonna go. Fuck, it's tough, right? Try being in my head right now. Um, I'm gonna go light three. Yeah, light three. <laughs> Happy four. Hello, darkness. Slowly slipping on space. Uh, I'm gonna get, I I wanted to love it as well, man. I wanted it to be good. Uh, well, it was good. It was good. Uh, Ashley fell asleep. I saw oh, come driving. on. Oh. Oh, fuck. Where's Adam? Uh, oh, he, he would not like this movie. I don't know. <laughs> tell you that. I know <laughs> I need someone right now. You don't want to put words in your mouth, Adam, but... Um, First one's a three for Adam. He's not going to like this Okay, movie. fuck. I'm glad he's not here right now. Uh, I'm going to give this... This is a two from Adam. This is a four for me. Fuck. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Currently sitting at about 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. What? Yeah. Getting eviscerated. Yeah. For the most part. I mean, half. Oh! Half, yeah. Half My no. poor heart. Let's move on to the spoilers. If you haven't Let's seen Kingsman, check it out. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Pause the video and get back to us, but fair warning for spoilers. You don't want to have the movie ruined for you. Is there anything you guys want to mention specifically? Yes. A couple things. Do, do, do you I say? hate that they killed Mark Strong. Mm. Love his character. Yeah. And are you telling me, Ugh. with all their gadgets, they have nothing that can stop a landmine? Simple C-clamp. Such a job. throwaway <laughs> like death. Such a throwaway death. So stupid. Um, but I think it really did justice to what his character was. Like, his character was always, like, the backup. Yes, like, and so I think and he gets in the field once and dies. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, okay. Hate it. He's. I like his character a lot. He should have had a uh, like a uh, badass moment yeah. instead of just like a fucking shit. I'm yeah. dead. Yeah, moment. Yeah, awful. Um, robot dogs. Oh, atrocious. Benny and the Jet. I like the names. The yeah. names are funny, but real dogs would have been better. I think. <laughs> right. It just this movie just went over the top on some things. Like the first one is very over over, uh, over the top. Yeah. This one, I think, is, like, new extreme with, like, robotic arms that are, like... I think the robotic arm is fine. I, yeah. The dogs was over the top. Yeah. Because, you know, the ro the robotic arm is kind of a, a riff on a lot of Bond villains. True, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, like Jaws and that yeah. sort of thing, right? Um, what else? I do want to touch on one thing about, he, about the he deaths. He had a robot arm in Bond. So, right. Yeah. True, yeah. But I just think the deaths, there's no stakes. Like... No, yeah, I didn't care at all. Because Colin Firth was able to come back after being shot like right in the brain. Yeah. Well, I think if you watch, he wasn't shot in the brain. That's kind of yeah. Like I know it went like missed the brain underneath his brain, but like into his eye. And if like anything, it would have even potentially severed his spinal cord. Yeah. Anyways, that got around that. Sure, but but then. Um, Oh, what's his name? Pedro Pascal gets shot in the head. Yeah. Point blank. He comes back. No problem. Yeah. In about fine. 10 minutes of screen yeah. time. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like when someone like Mark Strong dies, it's like, hmm. So they're just going to get a magical net and they're going to gather all the pieces together. Yeah. And they're just going to put all the pieces back yeah. together. I wouldn't be surprised if he's fine in the next one. Like, I, I'm just I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, there's no stakes here. Like, no. so what? He died. Like, but then you do things back. like you kill people like, like Roxy. Which I hated. I hated that she was dead. Yeah. Like, that really bothered me. Dumb. I like to, like, Google. I was like, is this a girl from the first movie? Because yeah. if so, get wrecked. Because she's in 30 seconds of screen time. Yeah. Like, that really angered yeah. me. And I thought... Wasted potential. I, I, and then Michael Gammon came out of nowhere. 
Yeah. And he's, he was he was he was new Arthur. I Literally like, fifteen seconds. I was pretty yeah. excited for that. I was like, yeah. okay, I haven't seen Michael Gambon in a while. I'm pretty excited. for Well, this. we saw in the trailer that he got bombed. So I'm like, I was Michael Gambon in the trailer? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh. They literally showed that sequence sh- shot for shot of the missile coming in, hitting the Kingsman yeah, building. I assume like they were just while like, he's sitting at the desk. You know, they were all be like, I assume that for some reason the Kingsman have some sort of like anti bomb technology that like they just have a big screen that says missile incoming. <laughs> yeah, and apparently that wasn't enough. No, no technology <laughs> designed to stop. Like that blew me away. I was like, nothing oh, to protect funny. you from incoming missiles. Oh, that's priceless. I do have a plot hole. Okay, that I want to bring up. Okay. Why did she kill the Kingsman, but not the Statesman, even though she's, like, negotiating with, like, the White House? Does, like, no one know that the Statesman exists? Maybe. Because well, the Kingsman don't even know. Yeah, what, what, what does she know. even have to gain to, to yeah. kill him? Maybe she only knows about the Kingsman because, well, because of Charlie? Of, well, Charlie okay, yeah, yeah, I guess so. That makes sense, yeah. They didn't even know about that. But it's like, she, they didn't even know about her, so why even bother killing them? Yeah, she could have just done her plan. <laughs> Well, I she mean, knew they risk were them though. having to. Yeah, she knew they were for her plot. It was preemptive, but like they stopped. They stopped. But yeah, why not send thing. bombs to Statesman too? I guess she didn't know where it was. Cause I guess Charlie had the. Yes, somehow. Charlie knew. Charlie knew where Kingsman were, but yeah. I don't. Like, the Kingsman didn't Did know. Where the but he failed the training. But, but he, he knew where like, the train. He though. knew like the. That's why he shows up at the tailor shop. So right. He knows that's like their front. He knew the tailor yeah. shop. He knew. And then like, they arm hacks in and finds location of all the Kingsman. Okay, that solved okay, my own problem. Okay, solved the own plot hole. There you go. I right. guess they thought of that. Yeah, that's um, fine. I, the president bothered me in this. Bruce Greenwood, just super evil. Yeah, but then, but see, it bothered me at first, but then I thought about it. Like you see what happened in the first one. Like they had like I guess I guess they're portraying Brock. I guess in the first one, like you see like Sam Sam Jackson sitting down with the president and like saying like shit's gonna happen. You guys got prepared for it. Put my implants in your neck and you'll all be fine. And then, like, so he was as evil, like, the and the president of the first one was just as evil, but they just didn't put a face on him. And I feel like that's kind of why it bothered me the most, because, like, he's like, we just have, like, a secondary villain here. And, like, his his whole plot, like, to just take all the junkies and put them in a stadium in cages, hated that. I did not like that. No. That seemed, like, so, like, I know this movie was unrealistic <laughs> at times, <laughs> yeah. but this was, like... That unbelievable level. unrealistic the effects were terrible I thought too. oh I thought I was just about to Holy mention that the fuck. CG looks so bad on those cages yeah I was like oh like not no. even one real cage no is real no. even the one that um what's her face got in and out of um for her name she's an actress like an actual well known actress even the one that she's like standing in is like clearly CG yeah. I'm like this is terrible it looked lazy atrocious it's lazy yeah, it's lazy. yeah. sorry and Matthew Vaughn don't do sequels I guess no no, I did like the Wednesday thing. That was pretty funny. Yeah. What? What Wednesday. fucking day is it? Um, I like Pedro Pascal's um fight in the. Didn't snow. like how they didn't explain okay. how Colin Firth knew he was bad. He just had an instinct that he purposely. He also which looked like, like when he pushed Taryn out of the way, it did look like he was purposely hitting yeah. the vial out of his hand. Yeah. But like maybe like he would have saw it seemed like the circle on him or something like that, you know? Yeah. Like something. But he wasn't working for the Golden Circle. He was only his only thing was he didn't want the junkies or not even junkies, just people who like casually do drugs yeah. to live because his wife was killed by two. I thought that guys. I thought that whole side plot thing with him just was pretty thin. I yeah. wish it would have been better if he, he came out nowhere for really. Julianne yeah. Moore. Yeah. Like if he had just infiltrated the statesman, I think that would have been better. Like if he worked for Julianne Moore. That would have been, been pretty obvious. Yeah, but, but there's there's a better there's a better version of the story I feel out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Than the obvious that oh he's just working for her. Yeah. And then the other side of it where okay he's just working for his own gain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a third option that's just better. I I don't know what it is, but it's it could easily be better. Yeah. Than that. That's the thing. A lot of things could be better in this movie. A lot. But that I feel like that that last scene, the jungle scene. Like yes, that's that. a good sequence. I, I feel like, like that one quite a bit. Like I love the briefcase. Yeah, I thought that was amazing. That was unfolds an entire body shield, yeah. like rockets flying out. I thought that was done really well. But that felt like yes. the first Kingsman. I did not like the restaurant fight scene between Pedro, Colin Firth. That it one was, felt very fake. Yeah, it, it felt like it was like very over the top. Yeah. Even though like, if that's possible, it felt yeah. like it was very over the top. Yeah. Um, for me, for me, the ending of this movie felt pretty flat. Like, I just remember the ending of the first one had ended with that, like, princess joke. Yeah. Yeah. 
literally, falls, like, literally blew the house down. Yeah. yeah. When the audience happened. was like in tears. Yeah. This movie just didn't, yeah. just kind of just ended. No. Yeah. Just was not on the same level. No. But anything else you guys want to bring up? Still love it. Still love it. Ah, uh, no. Love Still love is it. a strong Still word. It. Still love it. It's, well, it's that'll fun. do it for our review of Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Check it out if you haven't already. Tim, where can people find us? Uh, people can find us on Twitter at UpRealEight. You can find all of our episodes on YouTube at UpRealEight. And you can find me personally on Letterboxd at UpRealTim, as well as on Instagram at TheCraftPundit. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram at UpRealEightPodcast. You can also find me on Letterboxd at UpRealPi. Find myself, Scott, on Letterboxd at UpRealScott. And yeah, guys, if you enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section. Why not? You want to join our discussion about Kingsman, the Golden Circle. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do appreciate the support there. And, as always, keep it real. <laughs>